Okay. Um, I was waiting like a good break to ever make another video about Atlanta street interviews, um, Atlanta sex interviews, you know, cause I just wanted more, you know, evidence and shit to come out. Plus I don't feel like talking about that lame ass nigga all the time, but hold on though. This nigga, not Marcus, but this other dude mentioned me, let alone me in a video. So I'm like, Hey bro, what's going on? This your boy. What's good, bro? What's good? You the first off, like and subscribe, nigga. Thank you for adding me. I fuck with that. Um, and I'm the first one this nigga added. Thanks, nigga. <laughs> Appreciate you. So I'm like, okay, bro. Fuck it, bro. I'm gonna react to it for the one time. See what bro's talking about. So did Marcus manipulate? Yana J to get rid of her baby, bro. Yana. Oh, I talked about Yana in my other video. You must have saw that video. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, let's get into it. This your boy Papa Pimp. What's good, my boy? I know I'm going live Thursday, 8 p.m. And before I get into this, shout out to all the people that donated to my channel. I couldn't do it without y'all. But make sure you come to my live Thursday, 8 p.m. Men, women, everywhere. Share, subscribe. Let everybody know my lives or what it is. Thursday, 8 p.m. Well, since we just plugging shit in, bro, nigga, I literally just did. You see, this video is 21 minutes. The video I'm dropping on this shit is more than an hour. That ass. And it's mainly just me like talking and chilling. That's mainly what my YouTube channel is type shit. So be there. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, we hear you now, though. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Though. I don't know. It oh, must be something going on with your sound, though. But what um, y'all was talking about? Nah, we were just talking about um. Nah, prime, prime. Go ahead, prime. Go ahead. Nah, I was talking about the um the whole. I was talking about the whole abortion situation. How did y'all come to the agreement? You wanna know what's crazy and what's so like, I'm gonna just be black and white with y'all. It was a night right before we decided on the abortion. I just didn't wanna have sex. I don't know what happened, why I didn't feel like getting me down by him. But I it's obvious why you didn't want dick from Marcus. It's Marcus, okay? Yeah, we don't got a soul search on that one. We don't got a soul search. And I, told him no. and I woke up the next morning, he's like, you know what? We should go through with our abortion. And that night is that day we had that conversation was the day he we went through all the manipulation. He was trying to convince me. And I'm like, you know, I can do it without you. I can do it without you. I don't need you. He's like, I wouldn't feel right with that. The baby's gonna ruin my career. All this. I'm like, well, I can just do it without you. And then he started convincing me, which is the whole reason you guys all found out about this. And I end up contacting Kiki Prime. He ended up saying, Well, I'll just give you a couple thousand dollars to make sure you're good. You can restart your life, kind of. And I, at that point, I just had the decisions to make. It's like, okay, if he doesn't want to have a baby and he's not going to be supportive and he doesn't want to get married and I know that I don't want to marry him, well, I, I, it's not in my vision to be some single mother, even though he is, he's going to take care of the baby. I'm not going to be out here toting a kid around and I don't have... You don't know if he's going to take care of the baby. Bro, how, how much longer do y'all think that Atlanta Street Interviews money is going to make? When this nigga is building his company off fucking the people he's supposed to help, he may still have the channel now. He may still have the channel now. But one thing about karma, bro. One thing about karma. That bitch got patience for them grave facts. It's just not, I, it's not something for me. It's not anything I had planned on doing. So yeah, did, did you feel pressure to have to get rid of that kid because of what yes, he did? Yeah, because I asked him several times, like I can do it without you. I don't need you. He's like, no, it's not gonna feel right. That still doesn't set right with me. And he started convincing me, like, well, I'll just make sure I will take. He don't give a fuck. He just wanted to. He just wanted to make sure you actually did it. Hold up, does this nigga got water inside of a Pepsi bottle? times like i can do it without you i don't need you he's like no it's not gonna feel right that still doesn't set right with me and he's like, healthy ass nigga bro that's some shit i would do convincing me like well i'll just make sure i will take care of you i'll give you a couple thousand dollars so that you're good when you get home and i'm like you know what 
I'll just take that because I'm not going to raise a child by myself. And this is not my husband. I have to I have to deal with that. Um, so that offer was OK for me. Give me send me home with a couple of thousand dollars. And I'll restart my life. I'll go get some therapy. I'll heal my wound space. I'll forget about you. But he didn't follow through. He 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 tried to act like like a fuck boy in a sense. He didn't keep his word all the way. <laughs> it went wrong, and I just have to keep trying because he did that at the wrong time with the wrong one. Um, most guys I deal with, if there's a financial agreement, that deposit is in my account before anything has to be spoken of, and it wasn't that situation with Marcus. And that's Hey, hold on. That's a little banger, real quick. Hey, who made that shit? Um, bro, that shit was a banger. Um, bro, that shit was a banger, nigga. When that shit back. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Hello, everyone. <laughs> that shit could be a bar, bro. That shit could be a bar. Fun, I'm great. You can't go to the circus every day. You can't. I imagine going to a circus. You can't, bro. That's why I can't make a video on Buddy all the time. I can't do it. It's too brain dead. Every day. If you've been to a circus, you know the circus state. The circus got some... The circus got a circus. Smell. Okay, get to it. And Marcus was um, interviewing, if we want to call it an interview. We're not even going to call those an interview. We're going to call he was talking. He was talking to um, two young ladies. I am going to put them right here. He was, you know, different interviews, different young ladies. But what is common and what is obvious, you don't need to be a psychologist, psychiatrist, clinician, mental health worker, any of those things to see that these two ladies are mentally ill. And in my opinion, um, probably most likely schizophrenic, uh, paranoid schizophrenic. And so these ladies have Marcus, bro, you got some weird fetishes, my nigga. And I'm not really one to kink shame, bro. I'm really not. But it's like, bro, and I'm not, again, and I'm not saying like nobody, oh, you got to be crazy to love somebody. Like, no, that's not what I'm trying to communicate. But Marcus has the rap sheet. And so with that rap sheet in mind, Nigga, you got some crazy fetishes, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. And the crazy thing about human nature is that you could do 10,000 good things. But a couple bad things could stain the entire thing. You know what I mean? So it's all you're going to be known for. At least by me. You know? That's your claim to prominence. Heavy quotes. I know I, that. Mm. A chronic ill. And again, it's one thing to have your fetishes, bro. Bro, if you want to fuck girls that are of appropriate age and they're consenting and they're, you know, all that outside of work, that is the one thing. But you're shitting where you eat, bro. You're shitting where you eat. I said this in my last couple of videos, bro. How many times has that shit turned out good? You see what's going on with Diddy. What you think you him? Like, bro. That is not brought on or not because of any type of sexual trauma. Alright, so Sunny is over there crying. She's crying. Where's that Sonny video? She's crying because Marcus. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oops. Um, well, I don't know her YouTube channel name. <laughs> I don't know it. If he hasn't already blocked her, I'm sure he will because Sonny will probably start drunk calling and, you know, talking all kinds of crap because she's full of liquor. And so Marcus is, you know, Marcus has moved on. Even if he had not met his newest um, fantasy on the street, he still would have moved on from Sonny. Um, Sonny... Mm -mm. you're not it for a lot of reasons and most of them have nothing to do with your disability it really doesn't but that's besides the point but you know because my focus is Mark and we all try to tell you that you was just you know get what you can out the situation and move on but don't put your feelings into it I mean damn it you were a stripper that's like the number one rule of a stripper. Low key. Don't fall in love with the clients. Low key, yeah. The customers. Gee whiz, that's like the first rule of being a intro to stripper. If I was teaching a class on intro. Y'all ever seen a uh, P Valley? That show go kind of hard. I ain't gonna lie. Intro, or like, and I call it introduction to stripping. That would be like my number one. I have like whatever ten rules, and the number one rule. Don't fall in love with the clients. So anyway, so Sonny is over there crying and upset and all of all of the things. And I think Marcus is it's your fault because I do believe you manipulated Sonny. I I, I know you did. Um Sonny in the beginning. Of course. <laughs> Look, okay, bro. Look at my video, bro. When I talked about um Matter of fact, I could go, I could, I'm gonna go right to that shit, facts. I'm not, I, I don't know much about, like, I do, I'm just not gonna speak on it, because, you know, it's not my business that much. It's like, bro, like, we have to do more when it comes to being able to identify manipulators before they manipulate your ass, you know what I mean? That's crazy. I say that phrase she so much. Was just meeting you, and then she started defending you. Sunny even told you know she told her audience that she felt a, a ways about you know being intimate with Marcus because I think she saw him in like an older uncle. She didn't click right away that Marcus was a perv like i don't know how her perv instinct didn't kick in you know and that's what i wondered i mean truly that was my first question bro like you like you can't pick that shit up i don't know i think maybe i don't want to say some shit like just wants to be accepted or just wants love or just wants to be liked, but that that might be the reason. That might be the reason, right? Because when we're used to being treated a certain way because of something we can't change, and somebody comes along and they're just like they're like blowing your mind or whatever, in your head you're gonna be like, I'm gonna ignore one or two red flags, even though they're not just red, but they're glowing red um i think maybe that could be it perhaps right for marcus and so you know trying you know what being intimate with marcus you know I, it sounds like it happened relatively you know within a week or two of them meeting each other Marcus, 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 bro. Do you know what your show could have been if you just didn't fuck him? God damn. It. Nigga, you would have got enough money and fame off of running that business properly to actually go get some hoes. The normal way. 
but you couldn't fucking wait. God damn. So now your whole shit is on a trajectory that you don't want it to be on, my boy. Tough. Tough. And which makes Marcus really, really more like weird, weirder than I thought. Because when we think about Sonny's disability, she's shown all of us her colostomy bag. Um, she showed it to us empty and she showed it to us full. And so I can kind of understand why you wouldn't have much of a filter. For people with with colostomy bags, had, you know, they could be in a relationship with somebody for years. Then they get a colostomy for whatever the reason. My point is that it takes a <sighs> partner to be able to deal with having a sexual intimate relationship with someone with a colostomy bag. Work that you're doing, um, I don't know if, if you started out like God used me. <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, but, yeah, it's, it's just been, it, I've been led the whole time. What type of sexual you know, trauma? I, I, what age are we talking about? Knowing that she's autistic, he gonna ask her, did you squirt? Then he asks her to act like a little girl while he's fucking. Right, so um, I was in Jamaica and I was on a vacation and um, I had already had the idea to go out and interview folks. Um, and I told myself when I get back, I'm just gonna do it. And it started out as just kind of me just interviewing and just, you know, talking and just having the conversations with folks. But as the platform started to grow and everything else, I started, you know, my dick started getting hard and I was like, you know, I can't, I can't interview these girls without fucking them. And yeah, you know, that's where we are today. What's Illuminati be doing? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Feel <laughs> somewhat of responsibility. All right, let's let's get our hands dirty. Let's let's get in there and really help and do something. Really did get your hands dirty, didn't you, pal? All right. Things that we can do. So I just do what I can do. I'm just one guy, right? So I can't do everything, but, yeah, but whatever I can do, I try to you... do. Damn, these people, bro. Damn, bro. So you show these people this side of you. Is she what? I mean, I don't know what race the lady is. I don't know what race the lady is. I'm going to assume white just because of the tone of voice. But I don't know for a fact. Like, bro, the side you're showing her versus the side you showed that other girl with the fade when she was like you asked her to do shit and then you were supposed to pay and you constantly kept trying to lowball her you show her that side but you show her this lady this side well why is that you think you think them other girls is not finna say none that's what you think whatever bro this shit crazy meeting them where they are yes and are you able to open up to them in a way that yep. is um that doesn't feel allows them to open up yep give them a safe space yep and that, that is a <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you shout out atl fucking dumbass bro get the get this shit out my face bro all of y'all are confused Y'all all are sold snake oil. I will die on this hill, nigga. What is real will prosper. Only time will tell, nigga. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. That's crazy. Listen, for... For two years, I, I guess I didn't quite understand. Or didn't want to acknowledge. I guess, you know, kind of like... The... I guess the importance... That the platform was building... You didn't know how serious 
it is to interview homeless people with stories and lives and the real consequences of your actions at your big fucking age. Okay, keep going, I guess. And, and you know, I was probably a little bit reckless. Bro, you you have gray hair, bro. Like, you got gray hair, bro. What the fuck was you wasting your time on for the first couple years of your life if you don't know this yet? But you do know this. <laughs> you do know this. Marcus is not a dummy. Probably thinks everybody else is a dummy. That's probably the truth. It's probably the truth. <laughs> Keep it a stack, which let's see. And some of the stuff that I did as far as dealing with interviewees and things like that. Fucking them, having sex with them, taking advantage, having sex with them for money, then not paying them the amount that you promised them. And, you know, the whole thing about manipulating a fucking double amputee woman. But, you know, keep being vague, though, I guess. That'll... That will work for somebody. Oh boy, I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for the Marcus fans in the comments. Oh my God, bro. I'm waiting for y'all, bro. That shit is crazy. And it caused, <laughs> it caused there to be a stain on the platform. There is so many colonoscopy jokes I can make right now, but see Marcus, Self-control, okay? Practice, okay? <laughs> Practice, bro. This nigga is about fucking older than what my father would have been if he was alive. So for you not to know this, bro, that shit is tough as shit, bro. That shit is tough, bro. Like, bro, ain't no young nigga should be telling you not to fucking shit where you eat, bro. No young nigga need to be telling you that. Come on, bro. And I was, I was not being, I was not thinking with foresight when I was just moving about, right? I said it earlier in the video. So I said it earlier in the video. I don't need to say it again. I wasn't thinking with foresight. We know. But moving forward guys i'm i'm gonna go ahead and let you know i'm not gonna have any more stains on this platform you're being really vague yeah? so you're so all these people are probably sheltered as fuck huh probably sheltered as shit Just block out all the Marcus haters. I think in my heart, I really want to believe that this guy can like redeem himself. But in my logical brain, bro, His brain is fully developed and maybe when he, if he said this shit when he was like 20 or something, I would have been like, okay, you're still young, you can change. But like when you're past a certain age, bro, habits, behaviors, and tendencies start to cement themselves. He comes from a generation that's like really like more about the perception than the authenticity. What do y'all think? I don't know. Um, subscribe, like if you want to. You could, uh, you could dislike the video if you're a fucking Marcus fan. I don't give a fuck, bro. I, I don't, bro. I... Yeah.
Kardashian. Wow, wow, wow.